Good morning. Happy Monday, everybody. How are you today? Hope you're doing well. Hope you had a nice weekend. The weather's been pretty nice. Pretty, pretty nice. Um, me and Mr. V are tearing out our ceiling and um, in our attic. We're putting up um, new insulation and drywall because we had a leaky roof. I think I told you that. So today we have some people coming to fix our roof so it doesn't leak anymore. And then we're going to redo our attic. I'm going to um, I'm going to repaint it and everything and I'm going to make this, I'm going to make the ceiling look like the night sky. I'm going to put stars up and maybe a moon and things like that so it'll look like nighttime in there. Then Miss, me and Mr. V are going to move our room into that attic. So we're pretty excited. Um, so that's what we've been preparing for this weekend and what we're going to be doing this week. Is there anything exciting that you guys are doing? I know a lot of you um, who have pools have opened up your pools and you're swimming. That's so great. Swimming is so healthy for you. Make sure that you're wearing sunscreen, though. It's really important that you put on sunscreen. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are having a good time and having fun. It's summer. Ooh, you guys are supposed to be having fun. Woohoo! Even though it's not a not summer break yet. It's still summertime and you guys need to be outside having a good time and playing. Playing is learning. That's what I always say. If you're playing, you're learning. So let's go ahead and do our month. We're still in the same month. It hasn't changed. It's the new month that we are talking about. Remember, if you're having trouble, think about that letter, the sound that it makes. We're in the month of J, J, June, and the season is the same. The season is spring. What season is going to come after spring? What season are we changing to on the 20th? On the 20th, we change into the next season. Do you remember what it is? I think our little card says, first day of s uh um, er, summer. The 20th is going to be the first day of summer, but we're still in spring. And how many days of the week do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven days in our week. Let's name them. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday in, there's Monday, there's Tuesday in, there's Wednesday, there's Thursday in, there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Okay, so, can you tell me what yesterday was? Give it a try. With this one, remember, you have to look. Ooh, at the second letter too because we have two days of the week that start with an S so you have to look at the second letter as well yesterday was uh, s sun Sunday yesterday was Sunday what will today be Today is mm, Monday. So what will tomorrow be? Tomorrow will be t -t -t Tuesday. If today is Monday, that means our number day is what? Make an S and do not wait. Come back up and there's an eight. We have been in the month of June for eight days. 
let's count them out. But first, I gotta yawn. <sighs> I yawn so much in the mornings. Do you guys yawn in the mornings? I'm not even tired, but I just keep yawning. Although I did not sleep well, so. Maybe my body is tired, even though my mind isn't tired. Who knows? Let's count our days. One, two, three, four, five, six was Saturday. Seven was Sunday. So today is eight. This is our last week of school. Even though we're not in school, we've been doing school at home. So this is our last week of school at home. But that doesn't mean you have to stop if you want to. You probably need to give your parents a break. But that doesn't mean that you have to stop practicing your numbers, practicing your letters, your shapes, your colors, rhyming, all of that important stuff. You don't have to just stop it. You can still practice those things. Um throughout the whole rest of the summer so that you can remember, try try and remember everything for kindergarten. It's okay if you don't. Um, there are some kids that are going to be in your class that never went to pre-K. It'll be their very, very first time um, in preschool. Do you remember your very first day of school? Kind of scary. And they may not have learned everything that you have learned. So it'll be okay if you um, forget some things and that's all right and you'll get plenty more practice in kindergarten so don't worry about that so we have one two three four more days left of school and um and then yeah for the rest of the summer if you guys want if th there's any videos that you want me to do if you want me to read any books or um if you want to learn anything new that you're thinking about it and you're thinking about it, let me know, and I can still um, do videos and things. I'm going to school too, so I've been really busy um, doing my school work, um, but uh, I'm gonna be all done with my school too um, in July, so I only have a few weeks left of the school that I go to. Um, so then I'll just spend the whole rest of the summer getting ready for next year, so um, I'll be going through all the things that we've learned and things like that. So if there's anything that you want to see again or anything like that, let me know and I can still make some videos for you guys um, if you're wanting me to. Um, let's see. We did... Did I forget anything? Oh, yes. We forgot to do the weather. Silly Mrs. V. Okay. Let's take a look outside and see what's the weather like today. Like today, like today, what's the weather like today? Hey class, what's the weather? The weather is a high chance of yawn. Annoying the heck out of me. So I looked out my window. I looked out two windows just to be sure. It's very sunny out. Beautiful blue skies. I actually don't really see any clouds either. Because it can be sunny, and there's still white fluffy clouds in the sky. Um, but it, I don't see any today. I don't see any white fluffy clouds. It just looks like all blue sky, all sunshine. So I think, now I think I've done everything. So I hope you guys have a really great day. Remember to make um, good choices, the best choices that you can. Remember to be kind and gentle to everyone and everything in your environment. Um... Make sure that uh, if you have any siblings or anything, um, if you guys are playing together, make sure you're remembering, you know, sharing rules and things like that, especially if it's a younger sibling um, and maybe they haven't, uh, they haven't yet been to school and, um, you know, all the sharing rules and stuff that we have, you could teach them that too, but you have to be nice about it have to be gentle remember you have to be gentle with it um but it's kind of nice if you're an older sibling it's kind of nice because then you can teach your younger siblings a lot of stuff because I'm gonna tell you a secret not all the time but sometimes younger siblings may listen better 
to older siblings than to parents. Not all the time, but sometimes. I know that um, when I'm with my little brother and sister, they really look up to me. So I try and be a good role model for them because they want to be just like me. So I always try and make really good choices, especially when I'm around them. Because since they want to act like me, talk like me, things like that, I have to be really careful about um, what I do and the things that I say. Because then they'll they'll copy me and they'll want to be the same as me. So make sure that you're setting a good example, especially if you're um, an older sibling. If you're um, if you have little um, little ones in your house, make sure you're setting a good example for them because they're going to be watching you. They're going to want to be just like you if they're anything like my siblings. All right, you guys, Mwah. have a great day and um, I will, I'm going to be a YouTuber. See you on my next video. Bye. How'd I do? My YouTuber now. <laughs> Bye guys. Love